He was harmless, that they regarded him as harmless. You saw him walk past about nine other police officers. They didn't even give him, you know, a, a look, even though he was dressed so garishly. He's obviously a performance artist and uh, was not posing any threat to anybody. You can see where they help him open a door to go in to the Senate chamber. And so why on earth was that footage not used as exculpatory evidence in his trial? This man is uh, spending almost four years in jail, a naval veteran aged 33 years old, and he's just puzzled about it. You can see in that jailhouse interview that you played that he um, is, is sort of, he says his regret is that he thought because the police officers were showing him around that it was okay, um, that what he was doing was appropriate. And you can see the way those people were walking through the Capitol. As you say, you know, they are walking meekly, politely, queuing, um, very peaceable, uh, that they don't mean any harm. They are treating the Capitol with reverence. Um, that doesn't excuse the others, the minority of the protesters who did break windows and fight police and injure police and, and cause mayhem. But the, the people who are now being picked up and, and some of them have been jailed without trial for months, even years on end, did not commit violence. They walked through open doors. They were escorted by police. They felt that this was OK. And I think Jacob Chansley is a classic example of that. If I go to the door of a liquor store and a uniformed police officer opens it for me, I walk in, I take the money out of the till and then leave, escorted by the police officer, he's an accessory to the crime I just committed. I'm not attacking the Capitol Police. We're grateful for their help in getting this video out. But that doesn't make any sense at all. And the federal judge who oversaw this case doesn't seem to have noticed. Uh, this seems insane to me, and I don't know why no one is willing to explain it. Well, clearly the Capitol Police, none of them, you, you have nine or ten officers there, do not think that there is anything unusual about this guy with the fur hat and the Viking horns and the face paint wandering around the corridors and walking into the then, you know, Senate chamber that had been evacuated. Um, what we hear from the Capitol Police, they tell us, is that they were trying to de-escalate uh, the crowd, de-escalate any unrest. And so perhaps that's what they were doing. They were completely outnumbered. I don't really blame the Capitol Police. All they were trying to do was keep people calm and happy. They were betrayed by Nancy Pelosi and Mitch McConnell, who refused the, the repeated requests by the Capitol Police Chief Stephen Sund in the days before and several yes. times on the day of January 6 for backup, for National Guard. That is the most inexplicable part of this story. It is. And, and in fact, tomorrow we're going to have an interview with a Capitol Police officer in charge of the sector where this took place inside the Capitol explaining what happened. And it's shocking. Um, I appreciate, Miranda Devine, you coming on tonight. Thank you.